welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before or welcome back if you watch my videos and if you do I thank you so so much as always I love to upcycle and turn ordinary thrifted items and discarded items into beautiful pieces of art or fun edgy clothing and accessories purses etc so today we're working on a fun pair of drop crotch harem pants and it's starting out with this skirt now this is a size medium and i'm a medium i kind of wish this was more of a large but i'll work with what i have it'll work and when you pick out a skirt for a project like this you want to make sure it has a nice flare at the bottom and i'm going to bleach tie dye this and i normally like to use uh, cotton fabric when I bleach tie-dye it almost always works out well well this is a hundred percent rayon and I had a nice surprise I just did a little test let me see if I can find it with bleach to see if a hundred percent rayon would even bleach and I just put a little drop on there this is just a test and it bleaches just fine so now my um Verizons have expanded. I could get rayon if I want to do some bleaching, but we're going to turn these into harem pants. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my yardstick, or you can use a tape measure and a piece of chalk. And I want my legs at the bottom to be somewhat wide. I want them to be 10 inches wide. And so I came in with my yardstick and measured over 10 inches and made a mark with my chalk. And then I did the same on the opposite side. And then I found the middle, I went eight inches up from the bottom and found the middle just by measuring. Mine was about 36 inches wide. And so I marked it at 18 and made a mark right there. And now all I'm going to do is just freehand and simply connect those dots. Now this is a little pleated and I'm just going to work with it the best I can. Yours may be perfectly straight and I will just come around and I am just making a U shape connecting those parts that I made. Real quick here, I think I forgot to tell you, turn your skirt inside out. This should be done with your skirt completely inside out. Okay, so now that I have my U shape drawn, I'm just going to take my pins and I will just pin along that U shape, placing my pins all along here so that when I go to my machine, these don't shift around and I can get exactly on that line when I sew. Okay, so now I'm just going to go to my sewing machine and I'm simply going to stitch along this line. I will use a matching thread and a fairly small straight stitch and I will go around it twice because you want this not to be ripping open. Now that I have this all sewn, I am just going to cut that U out and I'll stay about a quarter inch away from that stitch mark. Okay, so I have that cut out and this is the cute shape that we have. Now, this next step, you just have to go in there. Anything that's curved when you stitch it, you want to take the tiniest little snips about half an inch apart, almost up to that stitch line, and just make some little snips all the way along. That way when you turn it inside out, it lays nice and smooth. Otherwise, it'll kind of be bunched up. So I'll just finish snipping that around. Okay. So now all I have to do is turn these right side out. And then I'm going to take you up to my laundry room with me where we'll uh, 
bleached tie dye these. Okay, so I have my hair and pants laid out on my island here. And I'm going to, I need to twist these up. And I'm starting off center. I don't want to start right in the center. I don't want like a weird spiral like right here. I'm doing it off center. And I just will start twisting. Now I want this fairly tight. Now just keep twisting. When I get it into sort of a ball, I'll just take some rubber bands. I think I have like six or seven of them here. And I will just start putting the rubber bands on. Now my rubber bands are really big, so I'm doubling them up just to make sure that holds its shape. Let's see. So there's, well, that one broke. Okay. And I'll probably put another one here and another one here, and then I'm going to my sink to bleach them. Okay, before I go to my sink, I'm gonna talk a little bit about bleaching because this is sort of time sensitive, and I may have to hurry and not get everything explained like I want. So I'm going to kind of brief you right now. And so I will take this to my laundry room sink, and I filled up a spray bottle with pure bleach. Now, everybody does this differently, and I'm gonna tell you how I do it. I do it with my garment dry. Some people saturate this and get this wet before they do it. I don't really see need to do it, but, um, and then pure bleach is a little controversial also. A lot of people will say, oh, it's gonna eat holes in your clothes and things like that. Well, the trick when you use pure bleach is once you get it dyed the way you want, quickly rinse it. Remove the rubber bands, once it's the color that you want, and just rinse, rinse, rinse before you throw it in the washer. Try to get all that bleach off there and it'll stop eating away. So I am going to put this in my sink and I'm just going to saturate it with the spray bottle, turn it over, do it. I'll show it to you, but um, just in case I have to hurry, then you have a little bit of this knowledge. Okay, now I'm just going to start spraying this. And I will get it pretty saturated. I should have gloves on, but I'm going to try not to touch the bleach too much. Okay, now I just kind of sit it, and I'm just going to watch and see what it does. Now I need to let that bleach activate, and I'll come back and remove the rubber bands and rinse it, and I'll let you know how much time that took on rayon. Okay, so this only took a couple minutes, and I'm gonna re remove the rubber bands and see what we have. And then I'm gonna begin to rinse. I think I'm liking it so far, let's see. I think it could have been a little more bleachy on the back. You know what? And then I'm just going to do a little cheat here. I think I'm just going to drip some bleach here and there. This isn't an exact science. You just kind of do what you like. You want a little more bleach? Put on a little more bleach. Now I'm going to let that sit a couple more minutes, and then I'll begin rinsing. Okay, it's almost time to rinse. I'm liking that a lot better. Now, once I'm done rinsing, I will just put it in the washer I'll do mine on cold water because I'm using rayon fabric. And then I'll line dry it and then I'll come back and show you what they look like. Okay, so here they are again. And I have a few pictures after this little video of some other hair and pants that I've made out of skirts and they're completely different. Maybe it'll help get the creative juices flowing.